Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is a rice news analyst, Emmanuel Efeni. Good morning, Emmanuel. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Victoria Tundu and Kiwabiola. Good morning. Yes, you had a brilliant weekend. I, was, I really did. Yes. Ruben, I'm not going to ask you. You were walking. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Let's start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. Now, the lead story, Buhari may sign electoral bill today. Six lawmakers' assurances to amend Clause 84. Ruling party governors meet tonight in Abuja ahead of meeting with President tomorrow. Now, this may sound like good news, and I just hope it will happen. Um, the president... President Mado Buhari, um, last night, according to this the report, has decided to take the bull by the horn, as it were, to sign this uh, Electoral Act Amendment Bill that has been pending on his desk for a couple of weeks now, and do the needful. But... He wants assurances from the National Assembly members. He met with the leaders of the National Assembly and the contentious issue. Clause 84, of course, which bars um, political office holders from voting as delegates, contesting and voting as delegates at conventions and state congresses. And in the view of the president, this is a denial of the constitutional right of political office holders. And he want assurances and comfort from the National Assembly members that he will sign. However, they will go back and reamend that or expunge, if you will, that contentious clause. I'm not too sure whether that's only the the only contentious clause in the eyes of the president, uh, because the consensus candidate clause also, which comes with a number of provisos for consensus to be established. These are issues that the president also wants to resolve. Will he sign today? This is reporting that he will sign today. So we'll wait till 12 midnight to see if the president does the needful. And thereafter, perhaps, we can put uh, this issue behind us. INEC can now have their plans in place, and the political parties can also plan well. Now, if we look at other stories in other newspapers, um, let's look at the Daily Independent newspaper, 20 billion Naira asset at risk as fan that the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria plans demolition of hangars. And this in itself, for those companies that have invested in these hangars, whatever the reason, they will have to uh, perhaps resolve that. Now, the Vanguard newspaper, the Vanguard newspaper, 2023, I am ready to get dirty. Tinumbu says no amount of intimidation can stop him a laughing Lubadon elect and does presidential bid. Well, the Jagaban, I don't know who intimidated the Jagaban, but I see why Jibola met Tinumbu is on the move. And he's been visiting traditional rulers in the southwest pushing his political ambition, intimating them of his political ambition, and receiving blessings as of aspirants usually get when they visit traditional rulers. But if somebody is calling that endorsement, well, so be it. But I think what traditional rulers do, they bless everybody who come to tell them about their ambition, not get involved in... Politics of endorsement. Now, if we look at um, 
Look at the New Telegraph newspaper quickly, the New Telegraph newspaper. Presidency. After Muslim, Christians should take over in 2023. That's what the Christian Association of Nigeria is saying. As both religions are critical partners in Nigeria, says it will mobilize Christians to produce Buhari's successor, rejects Muslim, Muslim, Christian, Christian tickets. Now, the Guardian newspaper, the Guardian newspaper, local airlines struggle with depleted fleets, low market penetration. Over 48 aircraft grounded, operator, operators lease 12 to sustain local operations. High maintenance costs, jet A1, exchange rates, Hubble industry growth. Aero contractors struggle with staff salary. Federal government fails in pledge to deliver uh, local maintenance organization. Leasing companies six years on. Now, of course, the problem in the aviation sector. Well known, well documented. Jets. A1 foil, now very expensive. And of course, the airlines are passing the cost to the passengers who are also very in a very tight corner because the alternative to fly, the roads are not very safe, but people must continue to travel. Now, let's look at the Daily Sun newspaper, Abakiari orders in fresh drug scandal, fingered in disappearance of three billion naira worth of tramadol. Now, if we look at the Business Day newspaper quickly, the Business Day newspaper, big story they call this projects in Nigeria gulp trillions with little results. Of course, in November 2018, Nigeria awarded $500 million contract to the Seradeneva Corporation to manufacture 12 A-29 Super Tucano jet aircraft planes for Nigerian Air Force. Exactly a year earlier in 20, of course, giving a list of major contracts awarded by the Nigerian government, of course, the super Tucano effort, uh, aircraft, to start with that, perhaps look faulty. Because, of course, the Air Force, they've been using those aircraft, and they seem to have been making progress when it comes to fighting the terrorists in recent times. Now, the foreign newspapers, quickly, the Daily Telegraph newspaper, Queen vows to carry on working with COVID. Mild code like illness stop duties as Prime Minister declares end of official virus. Cops. Now, the Financial Times of London is reporting Belarus says troops will stay as West seek Ukraine talk. Fresh push for Putin meeting conflict on Eastern Front escalates. Of course, Kiev seems to be vulnerable. Ruben and Tundu. Well, it much looks time. like again we've run out of time, yeah. so uh, so much to talk about, but okay, we just let it go like that. We want to thank you very much, Emmanuel.